Hi, this is Garden Girl Nancy Damiano with another episode of Scrap Your Stash brought to you by Two Piece in a Bucket.com. On this week's episode, I am going to be using a collection kit. I'm going to show you three different ways how I used it. And this is the Down by the Shore collection by Fancy Pants. I love the colors in this. It has a strong nautical theme, but it can be used for lots of different things. And I'm just going to go through and show you some of the papers. They have great solids on the back, which are really versatile. I love the hibiscus. Tiny little fish, sun. So these are great for not only the cruise pictures that I'm using them for, but any kind of tropical or beach day at the beach, tropical vacation. The dot reminds me of Disney so much. Corrugated papers, and you'll see, you get a variety of different stickers in the collection pack. Five different alphabets and tabs. And this great print I used a bit of. And a bunch of flags that I've already gone ahead and punched out. Also, I also purchased this 4x6 um, die cut book. And I love the journaling spots, the receipts. And I use these both on my page and on my Project Life um, album that you'll be seeing later on. These are the matching envelopes, buttons, a cute little anchor and some paper clips and flags, flare, and these great envelopes. And tiny tags, these fit really nicely in the um, bags. I'm also going to add some anchor washi tape by Glitz, a few enamel dots, and my date stamp, and blizzard white Mr. Huey. Okay, let's get started on the page. To start out, I started with two of my favorites, the anchor print and this bright turquoise. I wanted a high contrast to my page. Um, I chose the anchor paper as the background. And then I'm going to make a square to fit right in the center with the turquoise. Now I chose that um, combination because the turquoise is going to let my picture stand out and um, they're just going to look better on this plain color than rather fighting with the print on the anchors. I'm just going to glue that down straight in the center because I like how the anchors make um, a little frame around my page. And I also decided to add a little bit of drips of white paint onto the turquoise. So I'm just going to flick some white paint around the edges it's going to have a really subtle effect. A lot of it is going to be covered up with my photos and embellishments. I'm going to start going through my photos. I love this one in particular because the whole point of the page was how much time my son spent snorkeling and basically with his face in the ocean the entire time we spent on this island. Um, I told him he was going to get wrinkles on his face from it. So I chose these two photos one of him, which is the point of the page, and he also um, just a great shot of the beach, um, of the lagoon that we were at. And now I'm going to pull some embellishments. I definitely knew I was going to use the flags from the beginning because they um, go great with the theme of the cruise, but they're also really lively beach type of patterns. And then I chose the keep calm and go to the beach as well to tie in with the theme. I'm just going to trim down my photos so they'll fit on the page. As I was taking a look at the flags um, along the bottom of the page, I decided that I wanted to add the date on this portion of the flag, on the red portion, and I wanted it to really stand out. So I am going to use some embossing powder um, in a nice bright white and I'm going to add a little phrase best day ever along with the date that we were on this island. I want to quickly get that embossing powder on there because the um, date is so tiny and then I'm going to brush away any excess
And through the magic of video, you're going to see that I um, actually stamped the date twice. And that was just to take up more space. Uh, when I did the first one, it was a little bit close to the center. And I just liked the way it looked better with two lines. The page is coming together. I finished the date on the bottom and also the journaling on the flags. I ran those through my printer. And I decided to make a pocket out of this um, title card. So I'm going to put some of this really strong orange sticky tape on three sides. And I'm going to use that pocket for a few other photos that I like from this day. Before I add the photos to the pocket, um, I think I'm going to further embellish them with a little bit of red pattern paper, which is actually going to show at the top of the pocket. It'll add a little pop of uh, red print to the page. So I'm going to cut um, strips that are about uh, two inches maybe by one inch and adhere them to the top of the page. One of the photos is upside down and I did that on purpose because um, my son is super silly and um, it just fits his personality for that page, for that picture to be upside down that way. And I know that he'll get a real kick out of it when uh, he sees it. Once I fit all the pictures inside the pocket, I leave them peeking out just a bit and then I'm going to add some flags. This is going to add texture. It's going to add almost like a little handle for um, the pictures to be pulled out. And it adds um, some interest to this part of the page. OK, it's almost, almost time to start gluing down. But I noticed something that my focal point picture, because it really doesn't have my son looking at me, I think it's blending into that turquoise background a little bit too much. And I want it to stand out some. So I added some vellum, just a nice vellum frame underneath there. I don't want to take away from the turquoise, but I do want my photo to stand out. And I overlap that over the flags so that hopefully what you see first is the photo and not the flags. And also you'll notice that I put a little strip of sun paper, sun pattern paper at the bottom right hand corner. That was to add a little pop of yellow and also make that picture stand out. I added some anchor washi and that distributes a little more yellow color to the top of the page. There was a lot of blue going on there. And I'm gonna add one more embellishment this flag down here looks a little plain to me. I used the sun um, again because of the color. And I am actually also going to punch out a one and a half inch square of yellow vellum. So it almost looks like a glowing sun. And that's just a little detail that you can add. If you don't have yellow vellum available, you can use a pale yellow cardstock as well. Now the page looks just about complete, but there's one thing that I'd like to add and that's a little bit more pink. I see a little of the white splatters that I added to the turquoise, but I wanted to bring that to the top of layer of the page somehow. So I'm going to cover up everything I don't want painted and I don't want splattered, which of course is my photos. And actually I don't want anything splattered other than the red um, keep calm and go to the beach title. So by adding a few flicks of white paint, I'm going to distress it and I'm also going to bring a little bit more of that white up to the top layer. So 
So now the page is complete, right? Well, I thought so, except I left it overnight on my desk, and when I looked at it the next morning, I felt it was missing a little something. The picture, again, I felt was fading too much into the background, and I thought there was this huge space there um, underneath my son's face. And so I highlighted just by adding a simple title cut out with my silhouette. In bright white cardstock really makes it stand out and draws your eye right to that photo. And now the page is complete. Promise. Now let's take a look at the second way I use the collection kit. Uh, down by the shore by Fancy Pants. This is my Project Lifestyle uh, cruise album. Now I don't do Project Life, but I do use the divided page protectors and that style scrapbooking to do all my travel photos. The first photo is my title. It's Cruise 2012. And this is an eight and a half by 11 horizontal page protector. And on the other side, I use the collection pattern paper um, and stickers to um, add a journaling spot. And here I'll write the beginnings of our trip. On this page, I used a four by six card from the collection pack and a white gel pen, some more pattern paper and one of the matching pockets. On the opposite side, I added our uh, room key cards, mostly photos, and then I just cut down a little strip of the yellow sun paper and added some enamel dots. For a little texture. Now this page is from the Snap Collection. On the other side you'll see a big ampersand and that's how it comes in the Snap Collection. And I just added the nautical little um, flags and details and on this side I covered up uh, what was on the original page with the anchor paper and the little anchor um, chipboard piece. And that'll provide more journaling spots. I like to write a lot. so. I like to add those and I'll just punch holes in those and put them right into my album. Now this 8.5 by 11 sheet protector includes my memorabilia. That was our daily navigator from our cruise. And on this side I kept it really simple. One of the pockets, a label sticker, and just put stuff on it. Um, the other is the passport die cut and the only embellishment I added was our last name at the top. Here the same thing, I want to keep it quick and simple. So I just embellished a little bit on each of those four by six journaling cards that came in the pack. I added a five by seven, one of my favorite photos. And you'll see that the postcards are embellished with tags and stickers from the same collection kit. And I added some journaling with a white gel pen. The design is super simple, which is what I love the most about uh, doing my travel photos in this project lifestyle. Okay, let's take a look at the third and final way that I use the collection kit. On this page, I simply took out all of the blue pieces from the kit and I worked with exclusively anything that was aqua, turquoise, light blue, and navy. Now, I love this monochromatic look. And oftentimes I have a hard time finding um, papers and embellishments to go with our pool photos because they're a true blue and not a green or a teal. And the patterns and the colors in this collection were perfect for these photos. Now the photos are some of my favorites. Um, they show my son's super goofy, silly personality. He spent an entire summer season trying to conquer this floaty shark and um, it was just funny to see him get on it um, and then like quickly fall off it two seconds later. So this is definitely a story I wanted to get down on his book and I want the photos again to shine but I like a lot of embellishments. Um, by using this monochromatic palette I combined them both. Um, 
this, the photos really stand out and the first thing that I notice is him but yet I was able to be super creative and use lots of layers and lots of different things which is what I like to do when I sit down in scrapbook. Now I started with the background the navy blue and then I just started layering different um, patterns and shades of blue and then next came the photos once I had the photos down, what I noticed was that I had all of these horizontal lines, three horizontal lines of pattern papers going across, and then my two horizontal photos. And that's why I chose to layer all the envelopes and little bags and the tags in a vertical line going up the left side of the page. Once that was complete, it was just a matter of adding um, his name and some enamel dots, flare, and some stickers. Uh, to decorate the page. I hope you found these three ways on how to use a collection kit up useful and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.